So I did say, guys, that I have some stuff that we're going to be reacting to. Uh, for those who aren't in the stream on YouTube, you just didn't endure about 20 minutes of me playing with a soundboard. And uh, my lovely chat here is probably brain dead at this second uh, from the amount of crap that I just plugged into their ears. But I thought today we could react to some cool stuff that's in my Discord. You guys, uh, both in the Twitch chat and YouTube, if you haven't joined my Discord, be sure to join it. And you can recommend me some scary videos and stuff um, and scary games as well. So be sure to join the Discord. It'll be in the description down below or in the chat right now. So today we're reacting to Spectre maintenance report. Uh, Spectre did an amazing video. I believe it was um, this one here, the salvage. Really, really good. Hopefully it's good. I know it's going to be good because the last one was amazing. This is 10 minutes long. Be sure to go subscribe to Spectre. And let's jump into this. Right. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong tape. Plays another one. It's just fucking him getting yiffed by Foxy. Oh, no, that's another one. <laughs> All right. So I've managed to finally roll this thing in here. So I guess let's go ahead and get started now. Yeah, boy. The boss wants me to run through this maintenance report. So hopefully we can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately. It's uh, got a we're child also opening inside a new it. location next year, so what's most likely going to happen is I'm going to have to strip this thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models. So let's go ahead and see what I need to do first. Let's see here. Oh, damn. Test. All right, then. We will need as many parts as we can salvage from our remaining animatronics. These may include servos, wires, circuit boards, or pieces from the endoskeleton. Insert the floppy disk titled Animatronic Movement Test Program into the computer to test each of the animatronics' joint movements. Okay. Not okay. Simple enough. Yeah. Super simple. All right. Let's get the computer on. Get Look at those floppy discs. Let's see how this you know what was hilarious, goes. guys? <laughs> Back in school, right? You don't get this anymore. But um, but when I was in school, okay, there was there were floppy discs. Sometimes I think it was just going into the digital age, like properly, like you know, transferring over. So some people still had floppy discs, right? And on one of my teacher's computers. I didn't realize that this was just the standard name. <laughs> One of the things was called three and a half floppy, right? <laughs> and I thought, hang on a second. Why is he called, why is he naming his penis on his PC? But it turns out it was just a, a floppy disk. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. The, uh, luckily, I wasn't around when computers like this were around. Because then again, I mean, if it's a new thing, you're going to have patience, aren't you? Because you don't have anything to compare it to. Yes. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. Hey, you were, you old fuck. No, I weren't, man. I'm only freaking 20, just go down the rest 23 of the years old. Ah. Uh. Oh. Bro, imagine being at a freaking pizza joint, right? And the animatronics sound like that. I mean, I know it's going to have to, like, because obviously there's mechanical parts moving, but Jesus, they must have to oil okay. these parts up quite a lot. Because imagine the screeching sound that can occur. Well then, looks like the neck and jaw joints are functioning normally. So I'm going to put this camera down. With it sounds like my, ah, uh, oh, hang on. Huh. <laughs> I guess hang on. Kind of <laughs> All right, hang on. let me try so we care. All right, hang on. Ready? Here we go. Let me let me do this and then. Hang on. <laughs> okay, okay, just about. It just didn't work. Jaw joints are functioning normally, so I'm gonna put this camera down a bit so I can. Huh? That's strange. I guess there's some kind of circuit malfunction. I'm not sure why it's. Okay. Oh. It's boogie and down, man. All right. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right, get it all rebooted, and then we'll pick up where we left off. Damn. Okay, so just checking. I think it's so cool. Like it's so immersive. Like it, like you don't get any other kind of. Uh, thing that's been this immersive where it actually feels like someone's got a camera and they're yeah. like yeah they might be shorted 
These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. Thankfully, I'm not repairing this piece of junk, so I guess I'll just... What, mate? You need to stop insulting it! ...thing how it is and move on to the next one. Uh, thankfully, I'm not repairing this piece of shit. I got right, it from a so fucking car boot here. sale. Yeah, you listening to me, Bonnie? Okay, <laughs> you right. bitch! Alright, so if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected to the head. So I guess the ears don't work either. Damn. Alright, let's try the arms instead, I guess. The arms are gonna strangle you, bed. Bed. What did I just say, bed? Well, the arms work. Okay, that's very good. Working fine. Great. At least we can salvage something from the endoskeleton. Yeah, you so hear that? You're getting salvaged, now. mate. Piece of junk. Can you stop doing that? Oh! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, that's going to be expensive. Damn, okay. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. All of these parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly surprise me. Alright, mate, stop so, I insulting mean, it. I might be able to salvage the forearm and hand, but I don't know how. Looks like I'll only be able to entirely salvage the left arm, though. Which, I see what you mean I by it sounding like map nothing. packs. Damn, this thing stinks. Hey, any more insults okay. you want to throw at it? So let's go ahead and take off. Oh, and this by the way, you're ugly. And as you can see, the wires are cut. But you're so still dead, mate. Enough to be re oh, this kind of, I guess this kind of explains the um, FNAF 2 Bonnie, right? Man, I mean, this thing might as well just collapse right in front of me. All right. I'm surprised they want me to salvage anything from it at all. all Useless. Right. Let's move on to the legs. Jeez, man. Leg. Not very nice, are you? Look at that stability, man. This guy's center of gravity is insane. Okay, those seem to be working fine. Okay, left leg. Right leg. It starts twerking. Both legs seem to be working fine. There we go. I'll probably sound it to last, though, when I get finished with everything else, because I'll still need this thing standing. Right, are you going to install it anymore? Okay, fabric exterior salvage. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. This means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric it's, layer as it's possible. It's moving behind you. The most important of which are the hard to replicate features such as the head, face, and... Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Why? Spank its ass! Is... Oh. <laughs> right. Oh. Forgot to turn the computer off. You silly go okay, goose. So, <laughs> I was about to say uh, goon. Anyway. <laughs> Sounds like I'm just. <laughs> oh, it's looking at the exterior it. layer now. Mate, you need to stop insulting this Let thing. Me go ahead and take the other end up parts alongside the stop fabric piece that I actually need. Oh. Oh, he's gonna have no face by the end of this, is he? All right. Okay, With it that, makes it makes sense now. This series okay. is based on the um, FNAF 2, like, uh, what's it? What are they called? The, I forgot what they're called. The old animatronics. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition to that, I also went ahead and took off a foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining exterior pieces that weren't turned up and ruined. So, all of those end up with it. Yeah. With Sorry, I haven't paid for nothing in a while. Up and shipped off. All right, so that's about everything I can salvage from this thing so far. Um, no, I'm just gonna do a freaking flying drop kick to its sternum. Thing that could also go, but it's giving me a hard time right now. Because it's an here. ugly piece of for shit. For some reason, it won't budge, and I have no idea why. I've checked for anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. However, a child. I I do remember the report naming the headpiece specifically, so that means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. I guess let me keep cracking at it until something gives. Then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. Okay, brilliant. 
All right. After a bit of force and a oh, few there we cuts, go. I managed to tear the face off, as you can see down there. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head, which is very unusual. So if I were to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. Damn. But they did make it sound like the only one of the actual face of the animatronic. So that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. This thing's gonna... So, we are done with that then. Brilliant. Okay, let's see. Odor report. Okay then. Did that, does that you say mandatory suicide? ...about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. These odors have been described as rotten. Yep, decomposed like something died inside it. We suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped within its chest. Oh. Press down both of the shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Oh, what the? Damn it. Bro, that was, there was a mandatory suicide oh. there. I guess the power went out. Yeah, I might have tripped a breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right. Let's go turn the power back on and hopefully finish up. Hopefully finish up. I'm a news reporter. To do a lot. The... Hey! Let me out, guys! This isn't funny! Uh, guess let me finish up real quick in the dark. Oh, Where'd dear lord. You... Where'd it go? Oh. oh, really? Right now? Come on, come on! Uh-oh. What? What the fuck? You shouldn't Why have done that, Mark. Oh, God. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> okay, so that was the, the beginning part. Lovely, lovely jubby. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I mean, there isn't much um, videos like that. I kind of get so immersed like that. Uh, when it comes to FNAF stuff, but it's it's crazy how the the FNAF stuff's still going, like the VHS thing. Because then honestly, that was the thing that kind of got me into the VHS genre. Because then I started moving on to other stuff like analog horrors and that. But yeah, that was by Spectre guys. So be sure to or set yeah Spectre. <coughs> ah, be sure to go and subscribe, like the video, and yeah, fantastic stuff.